today to bring their expertise to this training for all of us. So how did the coalition come to be? I have to back up, and this is the Six Degrees of Separation story. It begins in May for me. My agency celebrated 20 years in May, and Cleve Jones, who is the founder of the Eighth Memorial Quilt, is one of our heroes. We brought him here several times throughout the last decade, and we invited him to come to our anniversary. He did so, um, did a wonderful job, and then hung around for a few days. And one of the questions he asked was, what is your agency doing to help energize and mobilize the gay and lesbian community? And I said, well, we're really focused on AIDS. We don't have a particular outreach to that community. And he said, shame on you. I am charging you today with doing more. You have to do more, and you're going to name your initiative Live Free and Equal. When an icon tells you to do something, you do it. I nodded and said, okay, please, not having any idea how we would move forward from there. Let's go to October now, when our agency, as part of this mission-expanding investigation, held a rally on Central Square to address the uh, anti- gay bullying suicides that were happening across the country. At that rally, I met Wesley Evans from the Unitarian Church, who showed up and spoke at the podium and said, you know, we're working on our open and affirming uh, process, and you and I need to stay in touch with each other. Terrific. World AIDS Day is coming up. How about a, a section of the quilt? Wonderful. Brought the quilt to the Unitarian Church. I said, what are you doing the rest of the day? Leslie said, oh, I'm going to Comfort because there's this meeting talking about marriage equality. I said, I know, there's all these bills that are pending to repeal. She said, yeah, I'll let you know all about it. The following week, we talked. How did it go? Well, we call to action. We all have to organize. We have to organize right away. Who else was there? Well, Roberta Berry. Well, I know Roberta Berry. <laughs> Roberta Berry was on my board for a million years. She and her husband, Jack, and through her P-Flag work as well, um, we're good friends, and so wouldn't it be wonderful to reconnect with her? The next thing I know, the three of us are emailing, and Roberta says, well, this wouldn't be complete without Jamie. Jamie from Working <coughs> Family Lynn, who organizes for economic justice. And that's how our core group of organizers came to be, talking about the Monadnock Live Free and Equal Coalition. That gives you a little bit of history as to how we came here today. We're very excited to include you in this process because we all are this process. And now I'm going to give the microphone to Roberta Berry.